Damn! I'm Ranger Cookie. And I'm Mr. Full Auto AK-47. And Bear. Bear! Look what you doing, Bear! We Bear doing? We're in a camel carry. <laughs> we're in a cemetery. And we're in a cemetery with somebody cutting grass on dead people. People from New Orleans, Mandeville. Yeah, we're all from the we gotta far. gotta go to Atlanta. What do they do? A <laughs> uh, cemetery. A uh, cemetery. A cemetery we couldn't go to New Orleans to see. Yeah, for free. This one has famous people. That one don't. Oh. Hey, Bear. You know why there's a fence on this cemetery? Because people are dying to get in. in. Look, this one's a mason. A cemetery. Ranger and his family took us to a cemetery. Look up there. Now there's lots of these in the New Orleans area. We come to Atlanta for a cemetery. That's weird, isn't it? That's weird. Oh, they got they got famous people out here. That's the difference. Famous people. Oh, okay. You got me, Bear. <laughs> There's never been to That means I'm fucking special. You are. You you you're gonna have the most video out of anybody. Unless you, if you pop there in 25 minutes. I can't just kill myself here. I'm both not. I'm trying to figure out what to do. I guess I see something good. I'll walk to it. What you do? So here's what Ranger like to do. Tell YouTube what you like to do. You I like, like to take. I like taking pictures of grave sites sometimes. And do, you, do you collect cemeteries the way Bear collects going to waterfalls? Mm -hmm. yeah, we went to like three, so I guess we're collecting it. Yeah, we're collecting it because I collect bars and really I like sunsets and sunrises. No, I think we got a dozen me and Bear after that waterfall park. Yeah, we got some waterfalls. We forget it. What a long life we're doing. A long life. That's a cool picture right there. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah. This guy is so exotic. This thing is as fuzzy as a bear. <laughs> fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. This guy is so sad. <laughs> Places not as New Orleans is better. I believe you. 
I have never done anything in Atlanta, so I've never been to Atlanta. The damn weed eaters taking the 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 uh the uh Yeah, New Orleans has oh, these crypts. It looks like wood, but it's made out of concrete. Yeah, Sit down, bear. Look at bear. He's sitting down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we we'll put back. Try not to let the camera look off. It gives a better. Should be a little better than those hard glasses. No, I brought the uh, view in. Okay, let's go. Thank you. You need some pictures of the bowling? No, I'm not sure you're just gonna run over. Yeah, that's fine. My ex was like, what are you doing in Atlanta by yourself? Who are you with? <laughs> no man, I with a friend that was talking about you, but I said I wasn't alone. I had bear, we drove here. He's like, you're in Atlanta by yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Thought about going, well, what's, what's it to you, you little adulteress? What are you care? <laughs> you just... Remember, this is the one. Oh. It's all right, I'll did cut I, that did out. Did I say a town? <laughs> no. Oh, well, we're good then. <laughs> my ex, the little adulteress, wondered what I was doing <laughs> in Atlanta. I was like, I'm a spooky. You <laughs> my little I couldn't believe I was this far by myself. Ain't no towns or family information to Yeah. And if they don't know where we at, they they need to be shot. That wouldn't matter anymore. I'm out of my turtle shell a little bit. Uncle Dave is gonna watch my week. <laughs> I usually edit and cut things out if Whatever I think. Whatever you want to do, Uncle Dave is going to watch the week. He'll watch it. He'll, he, he knows you're going to post it, but he knows you ain't going to post it for whenever. Yeah. Convenient. Uncle Dave loves you. He's okay. He's just got his butthead moments. Let's go over here and see, uh, uh, what you call that damn thing, uh. No. That looks like, uh. This looks like a uh, Stonehenge. Come on, get underneath it. <laughs> Oof. Look, it's the eye of Sohias. This is called time off from the woods. Yeah, yeah. 
you gotta round round yourself, you know, you gotta be well rounded. Start with the food in the belly well rounded, and then the places you go well rounded. Hey, Bear Venture in Atlanta with Cookie. I'll take it. Yeah, you live up your name, sucker. <laughs> You try to take a picture of this? More tourists. Uh, Damn tourists. What's the one on the left name? Who's just taking it? Don't get better side of. What's your sister's name? Peggy. Piggy! 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 Piggy. Piggy. Me meow! Michelle. Okay, yeah, I know him. It's just brain off. Yeah, I was taking it. All right, look at this nice iron work back in the 1850s. Well, maybe later or earlier. But this is cool iron work for those who like iron work. You're going to see a lot of old iron work on cemeteries. So let's take a good look at it. I'll take a picture for those who on my Facebook. That's good iron work. You gotta have, you Get gotta. In your cage, who let the tiger out? Who <laughs> you don't wanna know. In the cage. Larry's always who? out. Where you at, Larry? Who, who let the tiger out? Who? Who, who? who? who let who the Larry out? out? Oh, he dances. Beautiful. Who? Oh, I got a little gay dance. <laughs> I ain't paying $3 for that. <laughs> Behind scenes of the bear. Look, bear. This one says, a uh, graves. A uh, graves. Gee, Mr. Cemetery Builder, you think? Bear's at a grave, literally. They're going to live a long time. He's so young. We at a grave. Go figure. That was behind scenes of the bear. Enjoy. Record. We're calling dead people for information. Yes, the, le the dead people left me uh, a phone number so we can call and see what they say. We're calling inside the mausoleum to see if they're okay in there. Funding for this tour is provided by Historic Oakman Foundation board member Kelly Jordan, the National Trust for Historic Preservation, and the Ford Foundation. I'm David Moore. Executive Director of the Historic Oakland Foundation, a nonprofit prints group that helps preserve, restore, enhance, and share the cemetery with the public. Oakland Cemetery was established in 1850 by the city of Atlanta. Originally, the cemetery was only six acres in size, but it now covers about 48 acres. There are over 70,000 people buried in Oakland. There are 12 numbered stops on the African American Burial Ground Tour. Enter the number on the keypad of the stop you wish to learn about. To leave a comment at any... Number five. Number five. Stop number five. Antoine Graves, Sr. This guy. The Graves Mausoleum was constructed in the early 1940s. The family is real estate broker and educator, Antoine Graves. There are eight family members interred in the mausoleum. Antoine Graves became the first African American to open a business on Atlanta's Wall Street in the Kimball Building. He was also principal of the Houston Street School from 1884 to 1886. The Houston Street School opened in 1881 and was the first school in Atlanta to be led by an African American principal. The school was also the first in Atlanta to be staffed entirely by African-American teachers. In spring of 1886, former Confederate President Jefferson Davis visited Atlanta. 
Well, there we go, folks, with a little history of this grave site number five. Yeah, that was pre great. That was pretty interesting. So if you're interested in calling and this push of numbers, there is the number right there. B -b -b Boom. And you can dial the number. There's another number site over there, seven. And I think six is right, ac right across of us. So if you want to push a site in, just push random numbers, one through ten probably, and you'll probably find some... Historic site. Yeah. Oh, man. See you next time. <laughs> Usually an old graveyard down on Pete's Tree and Baker, which is where the high regency is, is moved out here in 1850. Originally six acres. And by 1867, um, it was expanded to its present size. 48 acres. They added 42 more acres. We have approximately 70,000 residents here. Regretfully, over half of them are under age 20 or children. Okay, we are still an active cemetery. We have approximately 15 burials a year here. Now, all the all of the uh, plots were sold pre-need by 1880, but you can still become a resident here by simply contacting. Sam Reed, our citizen, and being on a waiting list because people move out and everything. The first known burial was a guy named Dr. James Nesson. He was traveling through town and became ill. He had this horror about being buried alive. So what he did was he instructed his attending physician, Dr. Noel Dalvin Yee, who's a famous Civil War doctor, said that if something happened to me. You follow my casket to the cemetery? And right before they lower my remains in the ground, you got out a, a scalpel or a knife, you know, and you slashed my juggler face. And that happened, and it did. Now, Margaret Mitchell swears that most of her characters are fictional, but we think that, uh, that she might have used Dr. Bill and Dr. Love and Dr. Me, okay? <laughs> so, uh, Anyway, hey y'all. How's it going? Hey, good to see you. Yes. Always better to be seen than viewed, as Al Stevens. That's that special, <laughs> especially around here. <laughs> but here, but here. It, anyway, uh, there's an area down here. I told you all the all the graves were so pre need. Well, uh, what happened was there's an area down here that is called Potter's Field. Bye bye y'all. Good to see y'all. <laughs> anyway. Potter's Field, and what happened was people still wanted to be buried in open, so they wanted to be buried in unmarked graves. So if you go down there, you're going to see a beautiful field out there, but realize there's going to be 7,500 graves down there and some very elaborate coffins down there. Now there's an area here on the original six acres here that I'll show you. It's a sad part of the cemetery. Right here in 1852, in 1852, the city of Atlanta said, well, we need to uh, set aside this area for the African Americans, okay? So, goodbye now. Come on. Anyway, so by 1867, when the, plot, when the cemetery expanded to its present 48, they started selling plots to the African Americans down here in the lower 42. Well, what happened was in 1877, they said, no, oh, this is too valuable land for the African Americans. So what they did was they moved all 800 graves here, moved those down here, replied this and sold it to the whites. Now, when you go to the African Americans, they said, you're not see a lot of the monuments that you normally see in the other part of the cemetery. For the African Americans, they, they believe in using uh, uh, wooden markers or family heirlooms or something like that, you know, to do yeah. the graves and everything. Okay, now we were the center of three, 30 hospitals in the city of Atlanta. So what happened was that when 
soldiers fell during the Civil War, they just buried them in trenches. Well, some ladies from Atlanta said, you know what, these could have been our cousins, our brothers, our, even our husbands or our brothers. So what they did was they exhumed the remains they could, and they didn't have uh, dog tags like I had in the Navy when I was in the Navy, but they had their names sold to clothing or letters to uh, family members and things. So they identified 3,900 of those, men, those bodies, and they put them right here in the five sections. Now, they also identified 3,000 other remains that they could not identify, and they're in their famous Lion Square, the Lion of Atlanta. Now, there's 3,000 unknown soldiers buried there. Now, the Lion of Atlanta is famous because he's on the Smithsonian for outdoor structure. He also has the Lion of Cern and the Lion of Cern in Switzerland. It's a, it's a wounded lion on a Confederate flag for courage. All right, and uh, and he's also, have you ever been to the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C.? No. Well, the marble for the Lincoln Memorial statue is the same marble that is used for the Lion of Atlanta, uh, mine in Tate, Georgia, up in northwest Georgia. All right, now, uh, there's another area. You ever seen the movie Driving Miss Daisy? Yes. And she mentions a temple where you have the Hebrew Benevolent Congregation here. All right. And they, they, this was their area here. They also bought two plots down here, areas here. They sold half of those to the Russian Ethan Orthodox Jew. Now, the Orthodox Jew believe in a more Orthodox way of life as far as land and everything. If you look at their graves, they're going to be close together. They remove the sidewalks and everything. They're real, real close together. Whereas the Hebrew Germans are farther apart. And the best place to view that is to stand on Joseph Jacob Mausoleum. He owned a little pharmacy down on Five Points. And it had a little headache on it called what? Advil? Okay. No, Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, that's right. All right. And so we had another resident here who's buried in an unmarked grave named Louis Venerable. And he added carbonated water, and so in May of 1886, guess what was discovered? Coca-Cola. Okay? And this is where the potter's field is, right here, down here, the old African-American section. And that's, I mean, if you want to see where Maynard Hobart Jackson is, the first African-American mayor of Atlanta, buried here. And look at the irony of that. Remember, they moved all the African-American that back in 1880. 77, sit down here. Guess who's buried in the original six acres now? The first African American, American man. Margaret Mitchell Marsh, buried right here. Bobby Jones, the famous golfer, buried here. If you go by his, you're going to see a lot of golf balls. Because people put those in memory of him or in honor of him. Okay? So that's about the story right now. And I'm well, thank you for your ball. time. Good, We're going to see you on YouTube. <laughs> no, I don't hope not. Bear, are you enjoying yourself? Oh yes, I am. Wait a minute, that's Larry's voice. Oh yeah, I enjoyed myself out here with Ranger Cookie and my master. Oh yes, indeed. <laughs> that's the two evil babies, Krista and Mister, or whatever, or Annalise. Oh, oh, oh. Oh yeah, well, I'll refund you. Where's the honey? <laughs> I'm there. I'll see you later.